Hey everybody, this is E. Marcel Petit, the Sports Inquirer, and we're joined by Chandler Dennis, the pitcher for Georgia Tech softball. Chandler, thank you for joining us on a Thursday evening at late at night. Uh, <laughs> but how has the season been going so far for you and, and the Yellow Jackets as you progress through the ACC portion of the schedule? Yeah, um, well, ACC is always like a second season from preseason tournaments and everything. And we started out with two tough opponents um, with Duke and Florida State. And I think that really just kind of battle tested us, you know, and the season's been going great so far. Um, I think one thing about the team is, that's so special is that we win as a team and we lose as a team. And I mean, we have a lot of momentum going into the end of the season, which is exactly what you want. Yeah, and last weekend you had a big win against Boston College, three to one, an eleven inning contest. You came in and uh, got the final pitch, the two final innings of that contest. Uh, what, what, what did that game show about the team being able to show to resolve to play uh, so many extra innings and you coming in to earn the win? Right. Um, I think that those extra inning games, we've had a few of them so far. I think it just shows that we really just don't give up. You know, um, we just keep fighting no matter what inning it is. We just go out there and play like it's honestly like the first inning, like it's a nothing, nothing ball game. In that situation, that's kind of what you have to do um, to kind of calm the nerves, you know. Um, but obviously coming out on top in that situation was really awesome. We always love to win. Um, gets the nerves going a little bit, but I'm just really proud of the team for the way that we played together and pulled through with that. You've earned you have 10 wins so far this season. Several of them have come as a reliever. We mentioned that Boston College contest this past week against UAB. You came in late and got the win uh, for the team. What's the difference between be coming in as a, as a reliever as opposed to starting a contest? Uh, was your approach different? Do you realize during a, during a game that you may be used in certain situations? How do you, what are differences in your approach? Um, I feel like I have a little bit, well, I don't know. That's a good question. You know, I, I guess I try to keep the, the same mindset. You know, I really like when I'm on the mound, I try to take a deep breath before every pitch. And, you know, that I do that same process when I start a game versus when I come in. And I think that kind of keeps my nerves steady. You know, especially like in those 11 inning games where the game is on the line, like Boston College, every time we had to go out on defense, they had a chance to walk it off. And um, I think it's just really important to treat that the same as when I'm starting a game, because, I mean, you got to keep yourself calm and you got to slow the game down in those situations. So in between innings, do you try to warm your arm up? Do you uh, like how do you approach it when you're not starting a contest? Um, is it, how do you not, stay loose and get ready to come into a game? When you're not starting, it can be kind of tough being in relief because you need to go warm up in the first inning. You have a few innings where it's kind of chill on the field. You know, you can kind of relax a little bit. And then all of a sudden the game speeds up really quick. And then you're like, oh, shoot, I got to go throw. I got to keep my arm warm. So it's just a lot of going back and forth, kind of. And you just always have to stay ready. Did you do this in high school or even at Michigan? Uh, go into a relief role? Was there something that you had experienced more this year at Georgia Tech? Um, this is definitely something that I've experienced more this year. Um, but I mean, I've honestly been loving it. I think that me and Blake know that we um, both have each other's back and the same with the rest of the pitching staff. You know, we just really pull for each other and that makes it much easier to come in those situations. So. Yeah, I just mentioned you're from, from Swanee, went to North Gwinnett High School, obviously yeah. here in Metro Atlanta, went away to Michigan to play for your first two collegiate years. Yeah. What led you to come back to the state of Georgia and particularly Georgia Tech? Um, I just really wanted to come home. Um, it was pretty hard being very far away and didn't like the cold too much, really. <laughs> so um, I'm just, I mean, Georgia Tech was a great fit. You know, I went on a visit this summer and um, Coach Morales was awesome. I love the campus and everything. And I mean, you can't beat being 45 minutes away from home. It's a luxury that um, I didn't get the past two years. And so I've just really, that was a big factor in me coming to Georgia Tech. Did Coach Morales recruit you out of high school or did you have relationships with some of the players through the playing in high school and maybe the, the club softball scene? So were you familiar with the with Georgia Tech before the recruitment process began as yeah. a college player? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I played on the East Cobb Bullets in travel ball and quite a few of us on the team, um, Caroline Davis, Mallory Black, Sarah Beth Allen. Um, <laughs> I mean, a bunch of us. So I 
definitely having some friends, you know, coming into a new team is very helpful. Um, helps like help definitely help me settle in better for sure. So. And what's been the difference you've noticed in playing in the Big Ten, obviously a very strong uh, softball league in comparison to the ACC? Has it been what you expected? Is it maybe a different approach to the game? What has your experience been like as an ACC player? Um, well, the ACC is obviously very competitive. I would honestly argue that it's the most competitive conference in the country. So there's definitely like no light games, you know, and it's just – Honestly, I think it's brought out the best in me and brought out the best in my teammates playing that competition every time that we go out on the field. Yeah, and now you have NC State coming into town, another very competitive contest. Uh, how's the week of preparation been after UAB and now getting ready to face the Wolfpack? Right. Well, when we have these midweek games and stuff, you know, we had practice today and then now we have a doubleheader tomorrow. So there's honestly not a ton of time to prepare, I guess, but um, I guess I look at UAB as our preparation. You know, we went out there and we got a great road win and extra innings. And like I said before, we just played as a team. And I think that if we just keep playing as a team and, you know, keep doing what we're doing, I think we're going to be just fine. One more thing I was looking at so in Michigan, you got the go to play a few times, you got the hit. I, I, you, have, you haven't been able to do that yet, Georgia Tech. Is that something you been talking to Coach Morales about or some of your assistants trying to get some swings yeah. in this year? Um, that's funny. I think that my role here is just to pitch, you know, to keep to keep um, us in the game defensively, and I'm totally okay with that. So, Do you miss hitting? Just, um, you did, you're a very strong hitter in high school, and I said you did some in, at Michigan. Do you miss being at the plate as a hitter? I do. Honestly, I do miss it. Um, but, I mean, it's just – it's. So it's kind of different, but it's also kind of the same because when I would hit, I would always be like, my mindset would be like, okay, this is my plate, you know, my box, I own this plate. But my approach pitching is, okay, I own this batter, I own this plate, this is mine. And so it's just kind of funny to look back on how like those two things like work together. Um, but I mean, I, I do miss it, but it is what it is. <laughs> Do you think your experience as a hitter has helped you as a pitcher, just knowing what the hitter is going through at, in this, at the plate? 100%. 100%. I think that early on, I think it helped me learn the strike zone better. It helped me learn how to throw, you know, those pitches, like maybe when I'm ahead in the count, to be marginal pitches that, you know, look good but could go either way. Um, and I think that's a big key to pitching. And so I definitely think that my hitting experience helped shape me into the pitcher I am. Do you get to hit in practice at least or in the cage or anything like that? Um, not anymore. I did in the fall a little bit, but now that season's picked up, pretty much just do bullpens. All right. Well, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. And hopefully we'll catch up later on as you progress through the year. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much.